Okay, so now we move to the main event on Friday night, which is for the vacant interim WBO World Bantamweight title. And it is between Jonas Sultan and his translator on my left, and Paul Butler. So it's, it's uh, going to be a good fight. It's obviously a huge, huge fight on Friday night. For you, you've stepped in last minute. How are you feeling right now? Uh, for me, uh, uh, this is a great opportunity for me because I'm just... Instead of replacement, then I fight this world title fight. Uh, so this is a big opportunity for me. And I train hard uh, every day, so this will be a great, great fight. And to Paul Butler, uh, I say just good luck to both of us. And I will sure this will be a great, great fight. Yeah. How long have you been preparing to step in just in case? Because you were over here already. Is that right? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I trained like uh, two months ago from now. Uh, from, yeah, yeah two, two months ago. Um, for the show. Yeah, just, just looking for for upcoming fight. Then they said that I will be their replacement. So I, I just read it all, all the time. All, so every day I train. So I don't speak that I fight. Then. But the uh, opportunity is coming, so I grab. <laughs> This one, so this is good for me. How do you feel about being the away fighter coming in? You know, Paul's gonna have a lot of fans there. How do you feel about being the sort of underdog coming in last minute against his sort of home fans? Um, I feel very happy and um, I'm excited for this fight. I feel good, I'm strong. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, this is what I, I dreamed before to be able to fight again uh, in a world championship. That's why uh, I feel excited for this fight. And what do you make of Paul Butler as an opponent? Hmm? What do you make of Paul Butler as a, as a fighter? He's a good fighter and I know he's good and I saw him fight then. Uh, I learned, he, I watched his fight then I learned a lot then how to fight him. So uh, this time, this is my time, <laughs> yeah. Good and fight. Perfect. Uh, Paul, we need to... I'll go back to you. Well, uh, obviously we need to speak about the fact that Casemiro has... is not in the fight anymore. This is the second time this has happened. It happened in December in Dubai. Yeah. How are you feeling about that situation right now? It's forgotten about now, to be honest. i um, sick of hearing his name. Uh, it's, it's just been going on for that many months with him. Um, obviously before Dubai, everyone was telling me he won't make weight. I was the only one that said he would. He never. He didn't even get on the scales. He obviously checked the rule book pretty well out in Dubai. He hasn't checked the rule book very well out here. Um, so it's his loss. And the fact now that you are now fighting for the interim world title and change of opponent in fight week, how do you deal with that? Um, this time it's a little bit easier than Dubai. It got sprung on us within a matter of hours out in Dubai with Agbeko. Um, I've had in my mind for the last eight weeks that it could possibly be Sultan. Um, the WBO put a statement out saying any problems with Casemiro, weight, any illnesses, anything like that, he'd be stripped. Uh, and we're still waiting to find out what, what's happening there. What do you make of Sultan now? As good a fighter. fighter. Good fighter, very good fighter. Um, you only need to look at his resume, look at his record. He's beat Casemiro, he's right up there, he's, he's up there with the elite. So he's a very good fighter and he's coming over to do a job and I'm the man to stop him. How do you see Friday night playing out? It'll be a great fight. It'll be a great fight. I'm not going to give too much away, but we're, we're definitely going to lock on and we're going we're gonna to exchange blows and I'll be coming out the winner. And the fact it's, you know, home fans will be there. It's going to be it, a good night. It will be, it'll be a good night for me, it'll be a good night for me fans, um, but really that doesn't, that doesn't play a part. Um, as soon as we're in there, as soon as you step foot in that ring, it, it, that noise just becomes a blur, do you know what I mean? He won't know it's for him. Uh, well, I'll, I'll obviously know it's for, for me, but I'm sure, I'm sure it won't bother him. I wouldn't mind going to the Philippines and boxing him, it wouldn't bother me. I'm sure it won't bother him. Well, before we uh, move on and talk about the fight, um, I know that you want to say a few words about Ali Tassim, who you were you were training alongside yes, the, um, the boxer who sadly passed away this week. Mm, I dedicate this fight for my last friend, uh, Ali Tassim, and for his father, uh, Mr. Dr. T. So, 
uh, I'm sad for his loss. Uh, but I'm motivated to the fight. So we were with him Friday. We were training with him in Birmingham. We were with the kid all leading up to the day he passed. And he'll be with us in spirit uh, Friday night. We'll bring that belt back to him, back to Birmingham. words on that I know obviously you were you, you were the one that signed Ali and it's, it's been a it's been a terrible week yeah it's, it's horrendous I mean for Ali's family Ali was as I say he was a charismatic young man he was a hundred percent going to make it to the top of the sport special special talent I know his dad very well and I know his uh, his dad was um in the gym with Jonas as well um and I just watching it all unfold was was truly heartbreaking as a, even more so unimaginable pain for his family but definitely I mean it's, it's very nice that Jonas is dedicating the, the fight to, to Ali it's going to be an absolutely brilliant fight and as I say I hope we can keep Ali's name going f forever I mean I told you I promised his dad we'll, we'll keep his name in people's mouths forever because that's what he deserves exactly Just a reminder that this is Friday night at the MS Bank Arena here in Liverpool. There are some tickets still available you can get online, and we've got the way in tomorrow. So thanks for joining us. Can I just say as well, Jonah speaks better English than me. He didn't need a translator. Yeah, he doesn't need it. <laughs> Before us. Thanks, guys.